Good afternoon, Primetime Squad. How's everybody doing this wonderful Thursday afternoon? I hope all is well with everybody and everybody's looking forward to the weekend. But we about to get right into it. Y'all see this man right here? This man right here. This man right here is the Daniel Taylor, who has been in the news for several days now all over social media because this Daniel Taylor got so upset and infuriated one day while visiting a McDonald's um, over the fact that they didn't have any straws. So what did he do? He got into it with one of the workers at the McDonald's who happened to be a young lady. And let me show you what ensued. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see how he straight snatched her up by her collar over the counter? I mean, who does that? Over a straw? Over a straw. Now, it has been said that recently in their area, an ordinance passed, you know, by the St. Petersburg City Council last month saying the restaurants in the city can only give out plastic straws to those who request them and that a full ban on plastic straws will soon take effect in 2020. Now, I take it from, you know, the post online and the blogs that this man wasn't provided a plastic straw with his order and he wanted a straw really, really badly and he got upset because she didn't automatically give him a straw. But did she deserve that to be snatched up over the counter? Now, y'all saw what ensued. This girl was not playing. And thanks to uh, what she says was a family um, of boxers, you know, who know how to box. That's where she got her skills from. You know, she's from a family of fighters, you know, kind of like me. And this brings me back to when I used to work at McDonald's back in the day when I was a teenager. Oh, my God. First of all, first of all, there's been plenty of times where things could have popped off like that when I was a teenager. Because some customers can get so unruly, they make you want to throw a rack of hot fries on them. But, of course, you know, I don't condone violence, but I do condone self-defense. And self-defense she did, and as she should. And you know what? A lot of people is also, you know, talking about the video like, um, why didn't her co-workers, you know, help? Check this out. Here's another shot. Do she need help? <laughs> Did she need help? She ain't need no help. He the one who needed help. They was grabbing on her, you know, grabbing her, but it wasn't like they was jumping in between, you know, in front of the blows, you know, trying to get their head blasted in by their co-worker because that's what was going on. That man didn't put one lick on her. He didn't put one lick on her. So as far as all these people out here talking about 
Oh, the co-workers, they wrong. Them guys, they were standing around. You know, they all wasn't standing around. You know, some of them, you know, did grab her and try to pull her back. And I think mainly that was because who just, you know, expects a customer to jump over the counter on them? They was probably shocked, surprised, and appalled. Especially when she started treating him like the old Mike. You know, the old Mike. <laughs> the old Tyson. They didn't expect that. I would have been like, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Okay. That that just would have been me. That just would have been me. But, but, <laughs> they managed to, you know, pull her back and, you know, get her away from the guy. Because you don't, you don't never know. This man, he could be a serious, crazy lunatic, a schizophrenic. He could be bipolar. He could have, you know, many, many Issues going on with him. For him to just snatch a girl up over the counter over a straw? A straw? Come on now. Come on now. Whew. And then, and then, it didn't stop right there. On his way out, this fool <laughs> was so upset <laughs> that he got molly whopped <laughs> at the McDonald counter. On his way out the door, he going to kick another female employee in the stomach, y'all. In the stomach. Again, who does that? Look at him. Look at him. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. This is bigger than a straw, honey. This is bigger than a straw. I hope he gets some help where, wherever jail he's sitting in right now. But anywho... It was said that the girl had lost her job, but then it was retracted that she actually didn't lose her job. I think she was just off for a few days with no pay um, for a few days, but um, she didn't lose her job, thank God, because she would have lost her job. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it probably would have been a hot mess down there. <laughs> but anywho, anywho. I just wanted y'all to see this again. Let me show y'all this video again because I swear, I was like, who does that? Who just runs up in a McDonald's and just, I mean, who? who? Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Y'all want to see this video one more again? I'm going to show y'all this video one more again just because I can. Just because I can. Again, did she need help? She ain't need no help. She ain't that girl Molly Wop that fool all over that countertop. And then you know how people be like, at the end of the long hard day, I'm going home. I'm out of here. She after she finished Molly Whopping this fool, she was like, I'm going home now. I'm going home now. She done had a hard day's work. No put in some work for real. She put in some work for real <laughs> with the customers and on the customers. <laughs> But anyway, y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this. This child's name, her name is Yasmin James. The man who uh, attacked her, he's a 40-year-old named Daniel Taylor. He was arrested the same day, faces two charges of battery. Um, <laughs> Because again, not only did he assault her, but on the way out, he kicked another female um, employee in the stomach. In the stomach. They should have molly whopped his butt all the way to his car. All the way to the police came. But anywho, I don't condone violence, y'all. But I do condone, condone self-defense. Anyway, 
Y'all put down in the comment section what y'all thought about this um, trending video that's been going around. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you ha would have done if you would have done differently. Or, you know, <laughs> just let me know how you feel. But anyway, in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.